found an old Necky BF Nova sewing machine on Craigslist in Lakeside for 45 bucks. Bought it and cleaned it up this weekend. Came with this in this really cool old case. It has a front door on it here. And then the case opens up like a typical sewing machine case does. The foot pedal for the Necky wasn't real smooth in its uh, delivery of juice. At least that's what I think this is. So I took it apart. And I'm not sure, is, is this pre-transistor? I'm not sure. Uh, this is a picture of the old crumbling motor lead. And I just figured I gotta change this out because it's just, it's, listen to it. It's, it's literally just crumbling in my hands. So the problem was is this motor lead goes, goes right into the side of the motor and the leads inside, they're all crumbling too, so I wanted to get into there. I couldn't get the friggin' stator out. Couldn't figure out why. But it's an American motor. It was added to, American motor was added to the uh, uh, machine later. And they put this really, actually look at this great graphic on here. It's a woman proudly holding the necky machine above her head but it's a 110 volt motor 115 volt motor so it's, it's it's made in america and to make it necky what they did is they just put this piece on here with a couple rivets unfortunately they riveted the rivets right through and drove them right into the side of the stator which is why i couldn't get the friggin stator out it took me forever pulled the rotor out because the motor was arcing a little bit, smoking when I was spinning it. Uh, so I figured the, comm the commutator needed cleaning, which it does. Pulled out the armature. Uh, you see where they balance it here. You can also see um, where they balance this. The blades here, by, it appears that they just cut off the end of this one here. I don't know, it's pretty crazy. And then these are the bearings they use. It, it, it's just little, uh, it's just, they just piled a bunch of bearings on. Pretty cheesy. I, I, I can't blame Necky for this because it, this is a 110 motor, so it's probably made in the US and then added to the machine later. Uh, coming here is pretty clean. I found this 18-gauge uh, uh, landscape lighting wire at Home Depot, which is almost identical to the stuff that's already in there, so that'll work. It's all back together, all shined up, waxed with brand new wires, nice and flexible, and it sounds great. And it seems to be smoking like it was before, so that's good. Covered the necky in uh, Plastic wrap, so it's, maybe it'll help to protect the finish a little bit. I'm going to clean it with uh, WD-40 and then white gas and then uh, oil it and lube it. So I wanted to have a motor hook at this so I could spin it while I was oiling it. And then I realized that it's actually so loose now that I can spin it while I'm oiling it and it just almost goes all by itself. The machine is back together, but the light that goes on the back of it has this Bakelite case, and it's broken. You can see the threads are all broken out right here, and right here. And i got to figure out a way to get those threads. It works, but it wants to fall off easier. I'd like to fix those. But the machine is back together. It is totally cool and it runs really well. Uh, it needs a new belt and a couple other new minor things. Uh, the belt's causing it to uh, run a little slow. It's tight, but it's in really nice shape. Here's what it sounds like running. It's almost silent.
One of the interesting features of this machine are these little holes you see on the top. These are oil holes, but what they actually are, if I can zoom in here, they have a little ball bearing in the top. So you fill this, this space up, and then you push down on it, and the oil flows down in. It keeps you from over-oiling it. It just kind of, it's a way of measuring it. And then you push down on the ball, and it goes down in. Pretty neat design. The cool thing about this machine is it's quite powerful. Um, I've got some upholstery thread in here. And here's three layers of upholstery thread. Of upholstery vinyl. It goes right through it. And what's really neat is the ease at which you can rotate this. The stitch quality remains quite good. I mean, like flawless with six layers of vinyl. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. This is neat. Look at this. <laughs> good housekeeping. Seal of approval. I have no idea how old this thing is because uh, um, it's. It's got to be either early 50s or late 40s. The fabulous Necky BF Nova.